coming off my first Big Ten tournament win ever against Maryland. It was a quick turnaround to play Michigan State, you know, one of the most talented teams in the country last year. Well, everybody knew what was at stake. We had to win the Big Ten tournament in order to get in the NCAA tournament. Half back to Davison with two. Contested three is an air ball. That's it. And the Spartans do a great job of guarding the arc, and they win it by three. Losing to Michigan State was tough for a lot of reasons, and I'd say the biggest one was we knew it was going to be the end of our season. It ended our streak of going to the NCAA tournament and being in postseason play for 19 straight years. It was kind of heartbreaking for our whole team to be labeled as that team in Wisconsin history that, that kind of broke that streak. The elephant in the room was, was that Ethan Hap's last game. You know, everyone wanted to know that answer. Uh, so I just spoke from my heart. I'd probably talk to him as a friend just to see what he's thinking. Um, but I know as I've loved having the opportunity to play with him this year. Uh, and I, don't know, I don't know where his head's at with that. Um, but I would love to have the opportunity. I hope, I hope this wasn't the way we went out. It was kind of special to me to hear him say that and to hear it with such emotion that he didn't want that to be, you know, our last game together. I knew that he was going to probably declare for the draft and at least test the waters. During that whole process when he was working out with teams and was away from here, the communication was good. You know, I tried to help him as much as possible. Ultimately, after the whole draft expiration, I decided to come back. There was a lot of stuff that went into it. A huge part of it was trying to get back to the NCAA tournament. I didn't want to end on, on that note. We want to make sure we send him out on the right note. You know, I think he realized that this is his last show. There's no question mark after this season. You know, he has a certain amount of games left, and he has a certain legacy that he wants to leave, and we all want him to leave that legacy too. You know, he's playing for us, he's playing for our team, and we're playing for him. Our best teams have always been our closest teams. And this group made a rededication of that. In order for us to take the next step, we need to become closer off the court. That way that on the court we mesh even better. Talking with Brad in the locker room, we went over becoming closer as a team and you know how I needed to kind of almost let my guard down and just be one of the guys kind of. When times are tough, when times of struggle, and times of adversity, you know, when you don't have strong relationships with someone, it can kind of t cause you guys to divide. But when you have those strong relationships, when you're able to hold each other accountable, when you're able to hold each other to a certain standard that you want to have, um, you, can, you can give people criticism. A change for me from last year to this year in my leadership is just that I feel closer with the team, which allows me to be a little more open. Your final score tonight, Wisconsin 71, Penn State 52. Ethan Happ leading the way with 22 points for the Badgers. A great example of Ethan's maturity and leadership development. We're at Penn State, and, and we win the game, and we have some plane mechanical issues. Um, there was a little problem with our plane, uh, so now we are live from the arena playing kickball. It's the players. As you can see, it's the players. Versus the grown people. It was a great example of something that Ethan, you know, 18, 24 months ago, wouldn't have, he would have been off probably in his own little shell. But he was in there hooting and hollering with everybody else and made the three hours pass by pretty quick.